Oh, uh, hello people. Uh, today I'm back with another cancerous commentary. I realized that, you know, my video lineup is a bit bare because I am working on a review after all. But, you know, just to hold you over, uh, this is a video I've been looking at online. I find it a little bit interesting. So this video is by Concepts iPhone, you know, that channel that makes, you know, kind of nonsensical concepts. It's not really based on reality. Let's take a look at this video titled Introducing Apple Watch 10. Not Apple Watch Series 10, not even Apple Watch Series 4. We're skipping right to 10, guys. This is Apple Watch 10. So um, without further ado, let's have a look. How do we define time? Uh, basically, it's a fabric of the universe. You know, it's like a dimension. It is an element that we cannot see, cannot touch, cannot feel. Yet it makes up the expanses of the universe. The experience of time makes us feel the perfection of it. I, I, I don't think that this is like perfectly accurate, I think. But I'm not a physicist. You know, I don't think that anything is designed to be perfect. You know, just standard drivel. You know, um, this hunter guy. Um, he really puts in the effort. Uh, he really puts in the effort on um, just, you know, trying to make it seem like a legit Apple video. So, uh, props to him. But, like, uh, even Apple videos don't have that much dribble nowadays. You know, maybe in 2012, yeah. But, you know, 2018, they usually just cut to the chase now. So, let's get back to it. The expanses of the universe. The experience of time makes us feel the perfection of it. It captures the moments of the past, but also drives us into the future. Introducing the Apple Watch 10. The glass surface covers the whole watch as a single entity. Okay, so it covers the whole watch. So the entire Apple Watch is glass. Like... Like, you know, even the um, sides here uh, are glass. You know, they're, the, the entire thing is just glass because that's what you said. You know, it's like there's no ceramic, there's no stainless steel, there's no aluminum. It's just glass. The smart band system provides a tiny camera that makes it easier than ever to scan QR codes. Okay, I love how, like, this guy has, like, this idea of, like, this camera. You know, besides the very, very fragile glass, you know, besides the, like, the entire body is glass. So, like, if I slam it to virtually any surface in any way, my Apple Watch is gonna go busto. Now, you're putting a camera in the band, which, you know, as current camera hardware goes, it's going to add thickness. And number two, you're only gonna use it to scan QR codes, like, not even FaceTime, just... QR codes with the QR code scanner you can add friends on your watch now you might be thinking okay why is this dude talking about QR codes what is this sudden obsession with QR codes it turns out it turns out uh, you know my family and I found out the hard way that Chinese people love WeChat our family is quite westernized but you know still ethnically Chinese so we do have family overseas and turns out they're a big fan of this app called WeChat. It's basically like Line or WhatsApp or like Facebook Messenger, but you know, for the Chinese market. So it's like chat and then you can also apparently pay for things. It has its own payment system called WeChat Pay. You know, it has a lot of these weird just features just packed into one app and that's why this guy is just constantly grilling on about the QR codes when like the camera's like perfect for FaceTime yet he just keeps on talking about the QR codes because you know from adding a friend to like paying for things you need to like present this QR code in your WeChat app to basically do these very important things so and, you know, this guy's last name is Liu. He is obviously, you know, 
if he's not living in China, he's still ethnically Chinese. So, you know, it just ties into this thing. It's big in the Chinese market. This guy's also Chinese. So, you know, you can see where the logic falls from there. You know, like, I want to talk about the QR code point a bit. So I'm going to go back here. Because, like, he's using a camera on the band, right? easier than ever to scan QR codes. With the QR code scanner, you can add... F like, like, he's putting this QR code on the band, right? You can even see the, uh, the buckles here. How are you going to align this? Because, you know, you need to, like, your camera to point at a QR code, you know what I'm saying? So if you flip the camera around... How can you know that you're aligning it? Because, you know, you might be too close to the camera. You might be too far away to the camera. You might, like, offset so, you know, the camera only sees half the QR code. Like, how are you going to make this perfect, right? I just don't understand. So, I myself, you know, I'm ethnically, Ch I'm ethnically Chinese, but, you know, I don't even use WeChat. Like, I only recently, you know, I heard of it, like, two weeks ago, so... <sighs> How times change. Or access built-in QR code pay function without ever opening your phone. Okay, this part, I gotta pause it a little. There is a Touch ID sensor, okay? There's like a Touch ID sensor. And then now it makes me realize there is, you know, a side button, okay? There's a side button on the Apple Watch, okay? You know, standard idea. There's a side button on the iPhone. There's a side button on the Apple Watch. It's an Apple thing. Where is the digital crown? Like, you know, the dial thing that you're supposed to turn? Like, where is the digital crown? Because I saw a scroll bar. Like, you're supposed to, like, scroll with the scroll bar. So, like, this thing, you know with the four dots at the bottom and then there's this scroll bar on the right unless I'm terrifically wrong about this concept this is a scrollable interface right like this is like WeChat this is WeChat you're supposed to scroll where's the digital crown like it's still a watch it's still like a tiny 1.3 inch display on your wrist you know 1.3 1.4 is basically the max if you don't believe me just pull out a ruler so you're going to have to block the screen. And look at this. This is blown up, right? This is like blown up to be on the, the computer because, you know, actual size is like way smaller, right? So, you know, if you're looking at these like 9.48 a.m. and then yesterday, Tuesday, how is it going to be legible? Like this 3.21 p.m. Uh, text up here, how is it going to be legible? Yeah, like because it is a small product not only you took away the digital crown and you didn't put it back on the watch you also didn't realize that this is not the watch's actual size i'm looking at this on a 15.4 inch macbook pro okay this is the standard youtube view i just you know I entered full screen with this. And even that, it looks hard to read. Like 3.21 p.m., I'm sitting like an, a foot and a half away. 3.21 p.m. is already kind of hard to read. So now, pretend that you're strapping it to your wrist at around 40% of the size. And then, just, it's weird. It isn't practical. You cannot read that. And... The thin, the thin font is not going to do you any favors. <laughs> you know, it's just like this, just this whole plethora of non-Apple, like you almost didn't watch the initial September 2014 keynote where, you know, Tim Cook, you know, he actually once in a while does two product introductions. He doesn't understand it. He just, you know, he blowed up a watch quote unquote watch interface and they just have none of the considerations for it okay touch id on screen touch id even when apple has said well face id is way better that's why we're not doing the touch id in screen but no i'm gonna ignore this because we're concepts iphone we're going to make this 
we're going to ignore Apple's direction and instead of providing a realistic sense of what Apple is trying to do, I'm just going to insist on Touch ID on the screen and this too because you know Apple is totally dead set on allowing you to like just put you know WeChat Pay and then this is apparently the Taobao uh, Drifu Bao service which is Taobao if you don't know what Taobao is it's basically the Chinese version of eBay slash Amazon and then it has its own payment system alongside Apple Pay like come on dude like you're not supposed to put like Apple is never gonna do it like you're making an Apple watch concept you should do it the Apple way now I understand you don't have to be like a hundred percent exactly what Apple would do but like so many things are a stretch it's like you don't understand how bad we also simplified the time interface that only presents you with the most important items on your screen. Okay, it looks cool, but like it still looks like something Samsung would do. I think this is an actual face on the Samsung Gear S3. My friend has one. I don't have one, so I can't say for sure. I'm not very, you know, I'm not very into Samsung watches as you could probably tell. The weather display is also more efficient in cycles following the time. We have incorporated a new technology called Magnetic Connect that provides an easier way to connect your band and watch. With this technology, you can remove your band and turn it into an easy wireless charge Nest Home system. While connected to the- Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. He said, what? Magnetic watch? watch strap like I gotta listen to this again she called magnetic connect magnetic connect so you're connecting it with magnets okay I promise I'll be interactive in the future in the past so would you please okay if any of you has an iPad you know with the smart cover handy yeah just take it you know just grab your smart cover iPad with me okay you got it in your hands okay great now Hold your iPad just by your iPad. Don't hold it on a smart cover. Just like flip it open so like it dang so like the smart cover like dangles at the bottom of the iPad. Now try to like do sports. Just swing it around. Just swing it around. Does it drop? My own smart cover just dropped. So is this so good of an idea? Because it's going to fly off your wrist at a hundred miles per hour and it's not gonna latch. It's an easier way. And look at that, look at that. It, it locks in through the top. And you said magnets, yet you're using a clasp. And now... Connect your... With this technology... Look at this, you're freeing this band. Like, if, like, you're freeing this band as in, like, a magnet, because magnets are... It isn't really about friction. It's all about, you know, magnetism. It's going to fly off. Like, like, if this is how loose the bands are attaching onto the Apple Watch, like, how many broken Apple Watch 10s do you need to, like, repair before you believe that this is a really bad idea? And Nest, you can like, you're your turning this turn into, into a, a Nest system? Like, Nest, not Apple HomeKit. But Nest, not HomeKit. You're not building an Apple Watch. You're building a cool smartwatch. It doesn't have to be Apple. It just somehow shares the Apple brand. You know, like, that's why I decided to do this video. Because these people have no idea what they're doing. Like, I respect it. Like, I know it isn't supposed to be 100% serious. But, like, if you're going to make an Apple concept, can you make an Apple concept? Can you not include Nest? Can you not include WeChat or Drifrobal or weird smart cover esque smart watch bands or putting a camera on a watch band? This, this just seems like some outlandish Android Wear OS. OEM might come up with this does not seem like an Apple watch. Where is the digital crown? Where is the Apple pay thing? Like it is just 
so un Apple that I find it so ironic that this is entitled Introducing Apple Watch 10. Because let's be real, you're not introducing an Apple Watch, you're introducing something else. The iPad, you can also use it as a dial to indicate the colors you want or other editing tools in your design program. Plug the bands in. Okay, hold up, hold up. Let's uh, hold up again. Now, obviously, this is, you know, a Surface Studio kind of inspired design. And I certainly kind of respect that. I, um, you know, because it's, sometimes it's pretty cool to see what other companies' tech, when applied on an Apple product, could look like. But just just look, look, look at this. This is like a dial that is like right on... The iPad here, you can, you can see this dial right on the iPad here. It's like an actual dial. It's like those on your washing machine. It's like those that you use to set up a timer. You know, that, that kind of stuff. But, like, there's no spinning mechanism, right? Like, there's no spinning mechanism in the Apple Watch. Because, number one, that's a ripoff of the Gear S3. And number two, you obviously don't need a spinner. You've gotten rid of the digital crown. So, what is it going to spin? Are you going to... You're not going to spin the watch. You're not going to, like, physically rotate the Apple Watch. So, what you're doing is basically putting it on a surface and then manipulating the touchscreen. Which is worse than Microsoft's own dial. I'm sorry, this has to be said. Like, it's just so nonsensical. I know most of these concepts are just fantasy land, but like when they're so detached from reality, it just seems so bad. Plug the bands in, and it goes back into watch mode. With all these features compressed into a single device, we are going to redefine the way you use your time. Yep, because, you know, using my time is totally dependent on an Apple Watch. So, <laughs> I don't know what to say. This video is just weird, weird, weird. I see very low structure. I see very low planning. You know, if I were in charge, or maybe if you are in charge, because you're watching my channel now, you should be an Apple fanatic by now. You should have, like, at least followed some of, you know, Apple's principles instead of, like, completely change, changing everything without rhyme or reason. But, you know, it just, it goes to show something. But, yeah, I'm just going to go off now because I do have an essay to type on my iPad and I do have to pick up the smart cover from the floor. So, uh, until next time, uh, thank you for wasting uh, time with me. And, um... Until next time. Oh, crap. What's my outro? Yeah, have fun.